What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jim at Full Grip Games. Today, I'm going to be showing off Ross Cawthon's powerful new Arceus Dauga and Palkia GX deck featuring Spirit Tomb, third place finisher at the Limitless Online Qualifier Series. This deck is amazing. Ross Cawthon is a famous player because of his rogue creations, creator of The Truth. He's a world's finalist and creator of Shocklock. You may recognize that deck from expanded format. Ross is no stranger to rogue ideas and being inventive with his deck creation strategies. And this deck is no different. It uses the powerful Arceus Dialga and Palkia GX to Altered Creation GX. We've seen this before, usually paired with Zacian V. However, Ross's version of the deck that he used to finish third place at the nearly 1,000 player Limitless Online series is Spirit Tomb. Spirit Tomb may not seem like much. It's got 60 hit points and one attack, Anguish Cry, which does 10 plus 30 more damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. So with 60 hit points, you could put five damage counters onto the Spirit Tomb, meaning the Anguish Cry can deal a base 160 damage using the Building Spite ability, which says that once during your turn, you may put one damage counter on this Pokemon. So you get some Spirit Tombs out into play early and you start putting damage counters onto them with Building Spite, but Andrew, it'll take like five turns to get enough damage on your Spirit Tomb and you're only dealing 160 damage. There are some ways to boost this thing's speed and damage output. First of all, Ultra Creation GX boosts your damage output by 30 once you use it and it makes it so that your Pokemon are taking bonus prizes when they do take knockouts. So, Spirit Tomb, we were saying base 160, if you have five damage counters on it, can turn into base 190 after an Alter Creation GX. Then there's Hustle Belt, which means that you could deal 60 more damage if the Pokemon this card is attached to has 30 HP or less remaining and has any damage counters on it. Spirit Tomb's gonna be qualifying for that once it has three damage counters on itself. So, plus 60 damage, from Hustle Belt means that Spirit Tomb actually maxes out at 250 damage for just one energy. That's astounding. Now, 250 damage is a little bit short of what we need to be hitting in standard format. The magic numbers are 270 and 280, which is why we play four copies of Shrine of Punishment. It's very easy to get your shrines to stick. Most decks are not playing four stadiums if any at all. In fact, ADP Zacian plays Shrine of Punishment, so most of your opponents are not going to have a good counter to Shrine of Punishment, and you have enough stadiums to get to play through a lot of cards like Chaotic Swell and things like that. With four Shrines, you're going to be winning the Stadium War more often than not. Now, you may say, Andrew, doesn't the Shrine of Punishment damage your own Arceus Dalgopalkia? That's one of the coolest things about this deck, is that we have Jinx. Now, Jinx I was not sold on this card at first, but the ominous posture ability on Jinx is what makes this deck work. It's an ability that reads once during your turn before you attack, you may move one damage counter from one of your Pokemon to another one of your Pokemon. So before we said it'll take five turns to get five damage counters on your Spirit Tomb, not with ominous posture. We have three copies of Jinx in the deck, which means that you get to move damage counters around on your own side of the field. So not only can you move damage counters from one Spirit Tomb to another, the best thing to do in this deck is to move damage counters from your Arceus, Dalga, and Palkia that it'll be taking from Shrine of Punishment onto your Spirit Tomb. So not only are you boosting your damage output with Spirit Tomb by moving that Shrine damage off the ADP onto the Spirit Tomb, you're also healing your ADP every turn, essentially making it so that the Shrine does not do anything to your Arceus, Dalga, and Palkia, and to make sure that your ADP has a little bit of extra hit points to survive those pesky Zacian Vs with the Bray Blade. We do have Big Charm in the deck as well. With 310 HP, Arceus, Dalga, and Palkia is a force to be reckoned with and usually is not going to be going down to a typical Brave Blade, even when boosted with an opponent's Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia. Other than that, we've got a plenty of Gust options in here. We've got four Pokemon catchers as well as a great catcher, as well as Fion with the Whirlpool suction ability, making it so that you have plenty of options to Gust around dolls and things like that, making sure that you're taking the key knockouts you need to on the turns that you need to. And then we've got just 
what, 10 energy in the deck, four rainbows, four Aurora energy, one metal, and one water. I found that this deck is extremely consistent. Ross did a phenomenal job constructing the list, and I expect we're gonna be seeing a lot more Arceus, Dauga, Palkia, Spiritomb decks on the ladder in the weeks to come. Check out the deck in action during this gameplay. Let me know what do you think of Ross's third place list from the Limitless Online Qualifier in the comments below and make sure to check out the twitch channel where we stream live every weekday also make sure to check out fullgripgames.com we've got rebel clash singles available for pre-order on fullgripgames.com as well as rebel clash ptcgo codes available for pre-order on fullgripcodes.com now let's check the deck out in some gameplay i almost forgive adp just because it's a spirit tomb deck it's mostly a spirit tomb deck that's a lie it's definitely an adp deck but we just won that game without using ADP. So that was lit. You know, the Spirit Tombs and the Jinx are enough to win a lot of games by themselves. All right, heavy breathing. <laughs> I do not like this hand. This is a hand that I do not appreciate. Uh huh. Get rid of that. Oh, Squeezel, it is all going well. It's all going very well. Thanks for asking. You know, Jinx can attack. You guys might not have ever thought about using Attract Smack, but let me tell you. Attract Smack can soften up a tag team. Which is what I'm going to do right here. I mean... It's not the worst thing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm living my life right now. Yo, thank you so much. Straw hats are cool. Appreciate it. Straw hats are cool. Thank you so much for the sub. Eight months. We had to go for it, chat. You feel me? I didn't even find, I did not find an energy to be fair to attach to an ADP after that. So like, who cares? Start building up some damage counters on these guys, you know, and if we never ADP, that's okay. Hit him with the paralysis. Attract and smack. Dang it, Jinx. <laughs> it's, it's not good. <laughs> it's not good. Oh, you're gonna keep my Jinx alive? That's your first mistake for sure. And they don't have it this turn. We're fine. We're totally fine. Totally fine. Jinx first will attract, then smack. If there's anything I have to say about it. Dang it. My spirit tomb. Oh no. And Lysander Labs. Okay. I have to say, I'm just going for the attract smack again, so there's that. You do hate to see that. Um, hmm. Ah, there's that. Cool. 
Forgot about Senor Fion. Senor Fion can get us there. All right, first we attract chat, then we smack. We're down quite a few energy, so eh, it's a little bit sketchy, but we're fine, totally fine. Dang it! What the heck? <laughs> Why? Why do you not work? Man, so sad. Fortunately, I only need to, I mean, if I can alter creation, then I only need to take two knockouts. Can knock out this Charizard and Breaks in, who really, you know, we're chipping away at the HP. So presumably they go to That's fine. You know what? ADP was going to make his jolly old self into the active position anyhow. So that's fine. You want to go ahead and soften him up with a brilliant flare, you'd be my guest. Mallow and Lana. It's not good. Ah. Item lock would also not be good. So. Sure enough, 180 plus 210. That's also not what you want to see. And we know they have the Mallow and Lana. So I'm really hoping for a Marnie this next turn. That'd be great. Now, what do we max out at? Like 220? I can knock this out with Spear Tomb this turn if I draw well enough off this Stellar Wish. Do you believe? What do you think, chat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I got the labs is no longer there, so I can switch into this Stellar Wish again and research. And I can move the other damage counter. I can Building Spite as well, just to like think. All right, so five. I just need to find the Hustle Belt and an Energy. Hustle Belts and an Energy. Okay. Where are you, bro? Why? Hmm. It's not good. Really wanted the hustle belt there. Hmm. We know they got the Mallow and Lana. I can't really offer up the ADP. 
I kind of have to just go in with Spirit Tomb. The Shrine, I'm doing 160 damage. That's not enough. It'll put it at 220. And then they've got the Mallow and Lana in their hand already. Meanwhile, I'm down a lot of Gust. I can't alter Creation GX. If I alter Creation GX, then they'll knock out my guy. They'll go to two prizes remaining. And, well, maybe I can alter Creation GX. And then just take two knockouts and win the win the dang game. Yeah, that's that's the play. Right, because then they go, they take a knockout and they go to three. Yeah, that's just what we're doing. Okay. We're just going to alter creation. That way I only need to take two knockouts. I mean, now if they go item lock, then like I for sure lose anyway. So that's the. Uh, the deal. I was going to be in high heat range no matter what I did. It does 110 damage. I was going to be in high heat range the entire time I was going to be in high heat range. Now I lose. I do not think I can win with that. We'll see though. Maybe. Maybe if we just like believe real hard. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. Hopefully the Shrine Ticks need to keep... I cry every time, chat. I do, I do. I just, I cry every time. I don't know. If I do one, two, three, yeah, that's fine. Three, six, nine, we'll do it. But I should just be locked out of the game, I think. Unless I can, like, finesse with the crazy paralysis later. Like, I might need to jinx first. Like, Marnie jinx. Alright, that's, that's the play. That's the play. Okay. You guys ready? That's the play. The play is to buy myself a turn and deal 60 extra damage with the track smack. Marnie them. Have there be no switch cards. Now, Jinx has failed us every time so far. So there is that. However, I think if we just ask Jinx extremely nicely to please provide for us a heads flip on this attract smack that maybe we can yoink this game out. So that's what we're gonna try and do. It is possible. Shrine, and then uh, we've got the spirit tomb, that's fine. We got stellar wish, whole bunch of cards I cannot play. So I will put just more cards to put onto the bottom of my deck with Marnie. It's fine. And then we're going to put this thing to 40. So at maximum, you know, we're dealing 160, 190 damage. So if we buy ourselves the turn, with the Jinx, 
I can't put Hustle Belt on because of item lock. So we just need to flip, and we have to have them not find a switch. All right, y'all ready for this? No. What you got? Let's go, chat. Let's go, chat. Let's go, chat. All right, that's it, right? Let me do the math. Shrine, 160, 190 damage. Man, I do not care which energy you discard, bro. Broken deck, chat. Jinx, let's go, girl. Let's go, Jinx. Let's go. Chat, let's get some hype going for that Jinx. You know, we asked Jinx to deliver. Jinx delivered. That was insane. Jinx got us there. What an insane game. Thank you so much, Brian O'Rourke. Ryan O'Rourke for that uh, Twitch Prime sub a whole year, Ryan. Thank you so much for the sub. Yo, thank you, Jinx, for that game. Insane deck, yo. Insane deck. Check it out. And then probably just start letting that shrine tick. So we can get a quick knockout on that ADP. So I go turn two alter creation. If they go turn two brave blade and knock me out though, that's like kind of sketchy. So maybe we should hold on to the shrine there. It's possible because they could just forgo ADP altogether and just go turn two knock out my ADP after I alter creation. Now, if they do that, though, then that means that they have not alter creationed, which means that they're taking three prizes here. I mean, they all have three prizes left to take. So then all I have to do is knock out this and then knock out one more thing and it's game over. So I think we're probably just fine. Grammar time, am I enjoying the ADP? Winning's nice. I have to say. It's just, uh, you know, it, it is, it just is what it is. It's fine. I think, like, getting to play Spirit Tomb is fun, so I can get behind that. But the format has really narrowed itself down into, like, ADP decks and um, mill decks, for sure. And this is, like, my favorite ADP version to play is the Spirit Tomb version, so it's a good deck. Thanks so much, Confuse Ray, for that tier one sub. Ten months. Appreciate it, Confuse Ray. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. And uh, also, I think that, uh, yeah, you know, I mean, these are kind of like the final times we're going to be testing this format tomorrow. I'm moving into, uh, I'm mean, moving into some more tabletop content for rebel clash so if you guys are looking forward to that matt and i are going to be starting the stream around 5 or 6 p.m so we got some rebel clash content on the way which i'm very much looking forward to now i do think here that i probably just have to research this hand to give myself the switch there is very nice so thank you so much Master Munchlax for the Twitch Prime sub and a whole year. Let's go, Master Munchlax. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Hopefully you're enjoying the stream. Cool. So we're just going to research this hand. 
we like need to hit the energy. Hello deck, I need to hit the energy. That's what we said. So we can quick ball away that, get ourselves Jinx, it's fine, it's in the deck. Acrobike, yikes. Yikes. It's not good. Okay. Huh. That is not good at all. Um, I do feel like Okay, so say they alter creation, then I alter creation, then they knock out my ADP, then I knock out their ADP, then they win, right? So I think in order to win, I have to, let's say, say I alter creation without boosting the prize. Then I, then they alter creation, then I knock out with Spirit Tomb, then, yes, that's the better play. So we just have to, we alter creation. We just alter creation. We have to. I have to do that. There's a huge whiff on the energy there. It's a little bit unfortunate. It's not too much more I could have done about that. So now, unfortunately, I don't get to win in two turns. I have a three-turn clock to win. But we can try to Marnie them out of the game-winning hands. And we're going to be putting this ADP to the bench. So like that's the difference is that we're not going to just leave the ADP out here to dry. And I do get, you know, my spirit tombs get that boosted damage output. So they are going to be able to swing for 250 damage, which means that if they use alter creation GX this next turn, then I have an opportunity to uh to knock it out, take three prizes with a, you know, non-GX attacker and then if they don't gust the ADP at all, if I'm able to keep kind of dragging these damage counters off of the ADP, maybe we can save this ADP from ever getting into KO range. So that's going to be my main priority is just getting these jinx and kind of sucking the you know the uh, the damage counters off of the ADP and that giant charm, big charm, certainly going to uh, going to help us as well. So that's what we're going for. We're going to try and keep this game within reach. Yeah, they do have the Alter Creation GX. Cool. And apparently a switch in their hand as well. So we're going into Jirachi. Now I'm excited to try out new decks. I'm going to be building some decks later on tonight when I get home. So if you want to talk decks, I'm going to be in the Discord. If you want to talk Rebel Clash decks, ideas, things like that, I'm going to be in the sub Discord tonight talking about some deck ideas and showing you guys the list before we stream them tomorrow. So if you guys want to tune in and help with the deck building, that'd be great. I'll be on Discord tonight with some deck building stuff going on. So that should be a lot of fun. So our goal next turn, we want to hit a switch, and we want to hit a hustle belt, get into a spear tomb, knock out the ADP. Now that Absol certainly makes things a little bit more tricky as well. It's looking like this is the first place limitless qualifier list over here with the energy switches and all of that. So we got to try and keep this thing healthy. So we're going to try and... Hmm. Really don't want to get rid of all my catchers. That's not great. But uh could great catcher up the Dedene. It's like a free two prizes. We do know that. Which is nice. But I think we're just going for it. I mean we already know I'm gonna ominous off of the ADP onto the spirit tomb. 
then if it goes to five, I'm doing 160 damage plus three, it's 190 damage. I need to find the hustle belt. So I think we just believe a little bit. Just research this. That's fine. Ah, yes. Always punished for believing. Okay. <clears throat> it's fine. We've got building spite. So I'm not taking a knockout this turn. I'm not sure if the shrines will be enough to get us there. To be honest. So I'm dealing 190 damage. 200. I'll need four turns of Shrine Tick. It's just like a lot. Little ominous here. We we'll just have to anguish cry for not enough. So we are missing the 240. So we got four turns of shrine tick. So we got one, two, three, four. So two more turns. Like theoretically, I can still do it. So we want to gust around the ADP. We like, we certainly cannot afford to knock out the ADP. We cannot. I'm going to need to hit a gust around the ADP. So maybe it would have been better to go for catcher up on Denny that past turn. Because that's like guaranteed. But then there's no promises that I get this ADP back, right? There's no promises of that at all. It's like, uh, you know, I could have to go chasing that down with like a great catcher, you know, Pokemon catcher, something like that. Now, we do only have two catchers in the discard pile, so there's three more Pokemon catchers at large in the deck, which is going to help. So now we're at 250. Now I need to hit, I could Fion as well. So like that's, that's one way that we get around this thing. We could just Fion around it. So that way I'm not hitting into it. I'm guaranteed taking a prize. They're going to give me like Tapu Fini. I can one hit KO Zashian with the pan. I, I believe so. Yeah. I think I can do. Uh, yeah, I, I don't quite remember the math, but yes, it's it's close. I think I can do 250, right? Something like that. Cool. We got the Aurora energy. You need to find Fion or Catcher. There's Fion. We're going to need another Spear Tomb, though. How many Spear Tombs are we down? Okay. We need uh, another Spear Tomb stat. It's like definitely some real. I need a Spear Tomb hours. So. Yeah. This is really cool. I love this. It's like one of my favorite things about the deck. Is that you just get to heal the ADP. Like, even though he's eating the shrine, you just keep that boy healthy through all this. Whirlpool suction around the ADP. And then we see who they give us. Probably going to be Tapu Fini. It's one prize. It's getting sketched, though, because... I am like, I need two more spirit teams. Bad. I should have two more spirit teams left in the deck, but I can't find them. The Jinx is the best part about the deck, by far. 
So we're now we're at 260. It's going to be 270 coming back to me and then 280. So theoretically, I can win the game next turn. But I need to find a Spirit Tomb and I need to gust up the Dedenny. Oh, so you do 260 into me, 260, 270. Is that game? No, you're 10 short, right? Are they 10 short? Did I math wrong? Did I need to jinx one more time? No, you're doing 270 after the shrine. So then I'll have 10 HP left, right? Ryan, I alter creation for one energy. Because I whiffed the energy turn two. Now I'm going to need a really clutch top deck here. Because if I just hmm, if I just top deck into a switch, I can win, right? Because they're not going to be able to take it. They're doing 270, right? I, just, I know the math. 270, 270, 270. And I have 280 hit points left. They're doing 260. I'll have 20 left. Shrine tick, I'll have 10 left. Ah, yes, the Blessed Marnie. It's a broken hand to get into. Shucks. So I need to go find myself a supporter. I'm down two research, three research, four research. How many Marnies? One Marnie. So they're 10 short. Come on, chat. <laughs> oh, no. That's game. Literally, that's game if I flip that heads. Okay. Plan B. Let's see, I'm doing 50 damage right here, or no, I'm doing 190 damage without the Hustle Belt. If I had attached Hustle Belt to that before the Marnie, I would have game, because it would knock out the ADP and the Spirit and the thing in one turn. So we go Ominous Posture. Ironically enough, they like are kind of in a bad spot. So... Switch into Jirachi. That's fine. Stellar Wish. There we go. And that's game. I don't know. Math is hard, but... Is that it? Hey, what's up? Five prize turn. Let's go, chat. Insane deck. And then the Shrine Tick takes out their ADP. Big Charm. And the Jinx saves my ADP. On the brink of death. 300 damage. Totally fine. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Deck is nuts. <laughs> Please reban ADP. QC Hawk, I'm telling you, just, you know, winning games, though, just feels nice. I mean, what's wrong with winning games real quick?